Hi everyone, in this video we will see the example of WebSocket request and uh, using a Mailinator website to read an email using WebSocket request and we have, uh, we have created a web so, uh, Mailinator user ID with testuser.wss so as an example I have taken this uh, account, this username so we don't have any emails in our inbox so go to the uh, go to inspect element and see the traffic what you are getting here to see uh, our request so i'm clicking on public inboxes public inboxes we got one websocket request one websocket request so if you want to see the websocket request and the developer tool you have in a ws ws is nothing but a websocket we got one websocket request get request and these are number of messages which was sent to the server so we have already three messages sent to the server three messages sent to the server and i created a similar kind of an script of going to launch page of mailinator and switch inbox and next websocket request websocket request with respect to path what we are looking for okay now uh, now we'll run it uh, now we don't have any email now we don't have any email in our inbox let's end a simple simple message to email editor email demo email test email test email from gmeter gmeter same thing i have copied it on my uh, subject so i'm sending an email message has sent and here we don't have uh, anything anything in our mail let's refresh it yeah we got an email so now let's run the script now so we got a res we completed it and we got an, a response from the websocket the websocket request and the response is from email is this one and is a testing email and this is the origin from where we got it and this is a message id so we have not opened a message id yet uh, we have not opened a message this is a message id which we need to use to open a message of an email so if you click on this email which was opened with uh, i message id and this is a message id so this see this message id you will be having that in your websocket request so this is the id which we have in our websocket response websocket response so if you open the request a simple HTTPS call we can directly add to our uh, uh, request script uh, this is the mail this is the mail if you open this we have an HTTP call here so come to uh, come to all come to all and click on public see we have an email here call a HTTP call with a message id so if you don't have this message id we couldn't pull the content of the email so we have the email content here it is the email content so if you want to pull any email so we can directly add HTTP uh, some sample HTTP sampler HTTP sampler and we can add the call and um, cap we can do the regular expression for this packet you can do the regular expression of this packet and capture the test ID and pass it in our request so now we delete the email we'll delete the email from the inbox and we'll see do we get any content from any email content so we don't have any email in your uh, uh, email in our inbox now run it now run it so i didn't add anything in your request that was failed so if you go to the emailinator so you have an empty inbox you, the channel is selling as an empty inbox you don't have any messages in your email empty message so we don't have any content in your mail inbox so we don't uh, public star mail later nothing we have in our messages so if we previously if you see that we got the content of the task from the task email now we don't have the email information so if you get this information then we, that, that makes that means that you don't have any emails in your inbox so that's it friend uh, please comment 